extinction. Coffee production is currently under a serious threat that could drastically change the coffee we drink each day and potentially leave our cups dry. Coffee trees cover an estimated 11 million hectares of land throughout the tropics. Farmers harvest ripe Armlon coffee cherries by hand and meticulously process them until the seed is ready to be roasted. Outside of some large farms in Brazil and elsewhere, farmers who steward the world coffee lands do nearly all their work by hand. From planting to picking, these farmers get a reserved thin margin and often sell coffee for less than their production price. Yet the challenge of production coffee doesn't stop there. Of the 124 known species of coffee, 99% of coffee produced and consumed today comes from just two species, Arabica and Robusta. The genetic diversity of coffee is remarkably low for a crop of such importance. The diversity of genes within a plant population increases the possibility of adoption to changing climate and design disease pressure. Coffee limited genetic diversity leaves the crop especially susceptible to climate change and disease. Climate Coffee grows in a narrow strip of a tropic of Cancer to a tropic of Capricorn, often referred to as a coffee belt or a bean belt. Within the geographical climate zone, coffee trees thrive within a specific microclimates consisting of ideal altitude, rainfall, moderate temperatures, and adequate shade. Coffee trees are uniquely sensitive to climate and quickly decline in condition outside their optimal range. Because of their sensitivity, coffee trees will be heavily impacted by changing climate. Within the next 25 years, the suitable climate is predicted to be reduced by half. As coffee have become more intensively produced over the decades, shade has been removed and heavy use of synthetic fertilizer and pesticides have become the norm. This has degraded the formerly rich ecological cap of these systems and further exaggerated climate river changes. While slowing a changing climate is a gargantuan problem to tackle, restoring microclimates for better plant health is not only possible, it can be achieved relatively quickly. A stable microclimate for coffee, including diverse shade trees and functional living soil, can help buffer the effects of changing climate. Disease in addition to climate change, there are several diseases that regularly pose threat to coffee production. The most pressing currently is coffee leaf rust (CLR), a pathogenic fungus that infects coffee leaves, especially shutting down the plant's ability to photosynthesize, produce nutrients, and sustain food. Left unchecked, leaf rust can decimate entire farms. In 2012, rust spread to Latin America and reached a pandemic proportion, causing an estimate of an estimated of one billion dollars in crop loss and damage to trees. With livelihood and entire economics at stake, governments and organizations rapidly deployed fungicides and removed, removed infected trees, saving many farms and abating the spread. This event provided a major impetus for the further development of rust-resistant coffee varieties. By 2017, Honduras had aggressively adopted rust-resistant variants. One such variety, Lempira, count for 42% of all coffee trees in the country. Despite these efforts, a rust outbreak hit the country and several infected the Limpira variety. Some efforts are underway to breed coffee to enhance its disease resistance. Yet breeding coffee is painfully slow process. Breeding start by crossing genetically distinct parents. The offspring of such are called F1 hybrid. These hybrids are known for their vigor yet lack st stability in their traits. Breeding a stable coffee variety can take upward to 15 years. Meanwhile, there are currently 40 known strains of rust and likely many more on the way as fungi have a knock for mutation. While breeding may be part of the long-term solution for coffee in face of a challenging climate, there are some immediate and affordable actions that can improve coffee resilience. Low-hanging fruit Coffee trees are native to the forests of Ethiopia where they have grown and evolved amongst a diverse of shade trees. 
As global coffee production has become more industrialized, farm has removed shade trees, increased the diversity of coffee trees, and introduced a slew of chemical fertilizer, fungicides, and herbicides to maintain production. In short, the coffee industry has destabilized the two pillars of successful coffee production a diversity of shade trees and healthy soil. Coffee agroforestry system blend the diversity and structure of the forest with the production of coffee. This essentially mimics the natural habitat of coffee trees but can be intentionally designed in to include other forest nuts, honeybees and even high value hardwood trees. Thus agroforestry system have potential provide additional revenue streams, resilient microclimate that buffer larger climate events and the innate disease and pest control of complex ecology. Healthy soil has a regressive effect that compounds over time to create more life within a system. This works on a scale of weeks, months, and years. Even the perfect hybrid tree is only as healthy as vibrant as the soil in which it grows. Breeding can and should be part of the solution, yet it is in no way a silver bullet. Betting the future of coffee on the success of hybrid creates a risk, especially if it is further consolidates power rather than responding to farm realities. For coffee to continue as we know it, farmers led agroforestry system built on a foundation of soil and plant health must become the norm. This can reverse a trend of farmland degradation, improve coffee quality, provide farmers with much needed additional revenue streams, lessen and even eradicate disease pressure, and contribute to climate change mitigation on the local and global scale. This movement is already underway, yet it will require increased awareness of meaningful change globally. More coffee roasters, consumers need to understand this issue and know that their coffee purchase make a difference and more of the voices working within this movement on the ground need to be heard so we can change the discourse in the coffee industry echo chambers your future cup of coffee depends on it thank you for watching my name is hamza mateen and this is my first youtube video if you want to watch more of my content please like and subscribe and feel free to share topics for next video in comment section see you until next time bye bye